So this was more of one of those Gary Moore-esque double-picking pentatonic licks. With a big curl on the end, of course. Okay, so today I just wanted to talk about this um, Gary Moore semi-cheaty double-picking trill lick. And really, you can play this over any minor pentatonic or any any lick in the world, really, that you know you want to put this little trill thing in. And I call it semi-cheaty because it makes licks sound more complicated than they actually are. It's really simple to play. It just takes a bit of muscle memory, and it's only four notes, and you can transfer it really easily from string to string. Um, and in your improvising, you can just come up with new licks, kind of on the spot with it. I find it really cool. Now let's use the B minor pentatonic. We'll start off on this um, C sharp note, though. I did use it in the intro, and I'm gonna kind of just uh, go down the uh, go down the scale using that. Okay, so if we play slowly this double picking lick down the scale, it'll sound like this. Let's speed it up now. Okay, now really all that is, is this. Just a simple trill on each string. Then... And going down. But it sounds kind of different when you actually apply the double picking, and that's because the first two notes have that, you know, kind of bitey attack that you get from picking them. And the second two notes sound smooth, okay? So it sounds more than a trill, really. Just playing it fast over and over there. And you can just do that to practice it. It's really just a muscle memory thing, especially with the picking. And then try it over different strings. So maybe try putting this into a lick. Maybe make a lick up that sounds something like this. Okay, that's it slowly. Again, maybe something else. Just an example of something that I randomly came up with on the spot. I actually was using this. Okay, which is a different note that you can put in, a bit more of a bluesy sound. Something like that, okay? Maybe try that. Have a go, see what you come up with. So maybe also try it in a different key, like E or something. Okay, all I was doing there really was something like this. Just experimenting, you know, on the spot here. And just try and do that yourself and see what you come up with. It's just so fun. It's really just a really fun thing to do. Very simple, but makes things sound a little bit more complicated, so you can call it kind of a cheaty lick. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.